Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you all had a great week. This week I'm going to be doing a first impressions video for you guys. It's actually my first time ever doing one of these um, and I actually love watching these myself because you really get like an honest opinion on what someone thinks of product or whether they like it at the start or not. And I know it does take like a few days or a few weeks even to figure out if you really like something and you, know, you do need to use it a few times. But I love just getting the very first impression because I feel like that usually is the one that lasts usually anyway in my opinion and um, when I first use a product I usually know straight away whether I love it or not so today I'm going to be giving you my first impression of MAC's newest foundation it is called the next to nothing foundation and when I heard about this I was super excited about it um, I used to work for MAC so I'm absolutely a massive fan of all their products as you probably have known already after watching one of their videos and yeah I was really excited to try this and luckily enough my sister actually got sent all of the colors and the powders and she actually got the two brushes as well and um, these ones here and I've been very bold I and mean, the classic little sister and stolen them all from her and um, well I will give them back I promise but um, yeah I just wanted to try it out myself so I'm going to be trying one of the lighter shades today I'm quite pale um, and I don't have any tan on so I think I'm going to go for the actual lightest one and I'm going to tell you exactly what I think about it when I first actually read about this product and found out about it, I was kind of confused because I wasn't sure whether it was a primer or a foundation or like something similar to strobe cream with color in it. I wasn't really sure to be honest, but after doing a bit of research, I figured out that you can use it before or after your foundation or by itself as well. It apparently is supposed to really smoothen your skin and give a very radiant effect. So almost like similar to having a filter on your skin, which obviously sounds incredible. So I'm excited to try it, but from the get-go, I probably know that I will have to pair this with a foundation. Um, light coverage just puts me off straight away. I kind of love full coverage in a foundation and I always go for a full coverage option, but I do love the idea of like it being radiant and things like that. So maybe I'll have to mix it with Studio Fix or something along those lines. Um, but I'm gonna try it first anyway, and I won't um, shoot it down without trying it definitely, and we'll see how we get on. Okay, so I'm either going to use the light or the light plus. I'm not 100% sure what I should do here. I think I'll probably just go with uh, the light plus because my skin like does have a little bit of colour to it. Like I'm not completely white. So I'm going to go with that one, I think. Yeah. And I'm going to apply it with my beauty blender. I just think that might be the best uh, application method for this kind of a foundation. And I mostly prefer using beauty blenders with liquid foundations anyway. So yeah, I'm going to see how I get on with that. Okay, I just zoomed you in a bit and I absolutely look so crazy. I put some eyeshadow on and some lipstick before I started because I thought it would make it look better when it was on um, and give me like an easier way to have an impression of it. But uh, I look so crazy and I've never done this before. I always do my foundation first. So yeah, please don't take any notes. Okay, I'm going to pump some of this onto my hand. Okay, day. Oh yeah, there we go. Yeah, it looks a little bit dark. But hmm, we'll see. Should be okay. I can always lighten it down with my concealer after. Okay, so I'm just gonna go straight in. That's how much I've put on. Maybe a bit too much. We'll see. And I'm just gonna bounce off the skin. I have nothing on my skin right now as it is. Okay, this is looking really nice. Definitely a very light coverage. Definitely, but really glowy. And it does look like it's smoothing out my skin a little bit. Okay, I'm definitely gonna need more. <laughs> I've only used this much already and I only have this much of my face done, so yeah, that's not a very good sign for me. But yeah, I, I'm liking how it looks. I feel like this would be really nice on holidays um, because it's quite lightweight. I always try to um, keep my foundations very lightweight when I go on holidays because obviously it's really hot and I have tan on already, so I don't feel like I need as much coverage. For some reason, I don't know what that is, but I think we all kind of feel like that when we plan on we don't need as much makeup. Um, so yeah, I'm going to continue to do it on the other side. I'm going to try and build this as well and see how it looks. I have some blemishes at the moment, so let's see how it covers them. I don't think it is going to cover them completely, but we'll see. Okay, I'm after pumping more, guys. I'm using quite a lot of this. Um, it does take a while to get a bit of coverage out of this. I think it is definitely going to be a scenario where I use this as a base rather than like my proper foundation. I just don't think I'd be able for this. Now saying that, if you had nice skin and like weren't conscious of like freckles or blemishes or whatever, 
you will probably love this because it is really nice to wear like it feels really comfortable and it is smoothing out my skin and giving my complexion a nice kind of glowy look but it's just not covering enough for me right now but I will try and build it a bit and see how it goes and I also have a um, concealer to add so that's something to keep in mind okay I've actually just zoomed in a little bit more so you can really see it and how it's settling on the skin and um, it's definitely not, not the right colour I should have gone for the light um, but it's okay I'll, I'll be able to make it work hopefully probably looks so orange compared to my neck now but um, it, it is more about getting the idea of the foundation rather than the colour so it doesn't really matter too much if it's too dark today but yeah I'm definitely struggling to build it's probably not one like that you're gonna um, get a full coverage out of no matter how long you spend at it but I do really like the glowy look it's giving to my skin like it feels really fresh it feels really light um, comfy and it's just it's a it's a nice formula um, but it's just the coverage is just not for me um, so if you're similar to me and you like full coverage you're probably not going to love this but what I want to do now is try a bit of my Studio Fix over it. I brought that with me as well. Uh, it is in the shade NW13. So I'm going to try a little bit of this over it and see how that works. Um, I wasn't going to do this, but I, I, <clears throat> I think this could be really nice over it. Um, and you're not going to have to use as much as this, which will be nice. Because this is quite the full coverage. Um, you kind of already have your base. This is just going to add a little bit of um, more coverage for you. I'm just going to put a tiny bit of this on and it's a lighter colour too so it'll bring down the darker shade. Okay, it's still keeping its glowy look even though Studio Fix is a matte um, foundation which is nice. I do love a glowy look even though I'm slightly oily. Okay, I'm loving it now with the Studio Fix over it. It's much better, much more me. I'm much more comfortable in it covering up more of the, the red and the blemishes and the freckles so that goes for a happy Kaylin and yeah I like it now I'm gonna add my concealer now and see how that looks so I'm just gonna use the Pro Longwear which is also MAC it's my favorite concealer ever so so good Another thing to know is that it's not really sitting well on my nose. I don't know why, I think it might be a little bit too um, kind of radiant and glowy and I kind of have dry areas around my nose here so I'm finding that. But it's sitting well everywhere else. I think that that's just a problem area. Um, I wouldn't take much notice because that happens with a lot of different products to be honest. Okay. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I love them mixed together. Um, I definitely think I prefer my stroke cream underneath my Studio Fix for glow. I don't know if I'd opt for this instead of the stroke cream just yet. But I'm going to let it sit for a while. Um, I'm going to just go and do a few jobs or whatever and see how I feel about it. Um, have a good look at it in the mirror. And I will come back to you and let you know how I feel. Hey guys, it's been about two hours I think. And I haven't left the house or anything. I've just been running around doing jobs and stuff. But... This is how it looks, it's it's obviously staying quite well since I'm not doing anything too crazy but after like wearing it for a while and looking in the mirror and things like that I definitely like don't hate it, I really do like like the way it looks on my skin Um, I think right now my skin isn't in the best condition so I think that if my skin was in a grey place uh, it would look even better and I'd be even happier with it but in my opinion like it is definitely what it says in the tin it is next to nothing so don't expect a massive amount of coverage out of it but it is a lovely formula and it did give me like a nice natural glow which i like um i do like the fact that i was able to mix it with studio fix and it didn't feel very heavy but it did kind of give me this nice coverage i still think i'd like a little bit more which is just look that's just me um i don't think everyone's going to be the same as me in that boat but uh, i think overall i would compare it to something like face and body face and body probably has a bit more coverage and it is a bit more buildable but it, it reminds me of that a lot in the, in the way that it covered my skin and the way that it sat and felt on my skin um but overall i would use it again i'd love to use it next time maybe over the foundation and see what it's like so like do my studio fix 
uh, maybe do my stroke cream, do my studio fix, and then put that on top of it. I think that could be really, really nice because sometimes studio fix just goes that tad bit matte for me, um, even if I do use stroke cream. So I think that could be like the answer to that problem. So I'm gonna do that next time. Um, so be sure to keep an eye on my Snapchat. I will definitely show it if I do it on there. Um, I might do it next week or even over the weekend. I'll leave my Snapchat username below. Um, but yeah, overall, this is how it looks. I am happy with it but straight away that I'm never going to wear it by itself but I'm definitely interested to try it with different foundations and try it with different techniques and maybe even try it like with a brush um, so yeah, I'm excited to play with it further Okay guys, I'm going to leave it there for this week I really do hope you enjoyed this video and got some information and a little bit of an insight about the foundation um, Again, thank you so much for watching and if you like what you see, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel I promise I'm going to be upping my videos to maybe two a week in the next month or so so definitely keep an eye out for that and until then I will see you in my next video bye